Yeah, now you can carry on, Doctor. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, welcome you for this uh, online session. This online training session uh, is held today, uh, and this program has been uh, prepared by uh, College of Business and Economics, especially in Accounting and Finance Department. Uh, thank you, Dr. Krishna, for preparing uh, this topic uh, in order to help our instructors uh, in order to avoid uh, their plagiarism and uh, paraphrasing tools. Uh, the, the topic that you have selected is need of the art, and it is very interesting for academicians uh, in order to publish academic articles. Therefore, uh, this topic is found uh, by many, many, many interesting groups are requesting also. Therefore, uh, today I would like to open this training session on behalf of the president. Uh, the president was supposed to, to launch this program, but uh, since he has a meeting in Adama, uh, he has delegated me to open this training session. Therefore, I would like to uh, start and inaugurate the online training session. And I would like to say welcome. And I have one message for you. Uh, after this training, uh, you are expected to uh, avoid plagiarism and you have to know about paraphrasing tools of plagiarism. And uh, this is, I would like to give uh, the room for Dr. Krishna uh, and the participants. Uh, I wish all the best for you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Doctor, uh, for your uh, introductory words. Uh, thanks for inaugurating the session. Uh, from now, I would like to continue my session. Please, all of you, uh, mute yourself. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, please raise your hand. Uh, means uh, in technically. Uh, so from now, I'll move uh, on my session. First of all, welcome to you all uh, for this uh, session, a university level uh, training program on uh, plagiarism and paraphrasing tools and techniques used in research. This is what uh, today's uh, topic that we are uh, going to discuss. Here, uh, the source of this training is, uh, is my own experience. Uh, and the takeaways uh, for today's text session is that expectations of high impact uh, journals, types of uh, plagiarism and checking softwares and how to check and generate the plagiarism reports using Turnitin. There is a software called Turnitin for plagiarism checking. Uh, we are going to see that by using that software, how we are going to generate the report and how we are going to check the plagiarism and how we, how we are going to reduce the plagiarism from that report. That is what uh, we are going to discuss on it. And uh, one more thing uh, in this session, we are going to learn about article rewriting tools and techniques also. Once you get the plagiarism, then how to reduce it by using some sort of article rewriting tools, uh, we can reduce some sort of uh, plagiarism in this aspect. So we see this. The most dangerous and uh, fearful words in research and academics, not only the research, even academicians are facing a lot of problem on it. The most dangerous and fearful words in this globe, not only Ethiopia, not only India, the, the total globe which is facing is that the plagiarism and similarity index. Most of the people, they know that only plagiarism but it is also been called as similarity index. When it comes to the professional journals, high impact journals, they focus, uh, they may say, ask you to check the similarity index. So similarity index and plagiarism, both are same here. Both are same here. The expectations of high impact journals, what they're expecting. The uh, uh, recent one, like uh, one paper got selected in uh, Finance India 
my paper they were asking they were asking like less than 5% similarity index it's highly impossible to make a less than 5% similarity index it was a big challenge uh, for us to reduce the actual plagiarism it was showing is that 13% but we have to bring it down to 5% so we have struggled a lot and by doing all those uh, do so finally we could able to submit that report with a less than 5% plagiarism you see the expectations of high impact journals just now i told you about the 5% uh, plagiarism that that uh, you need to maintain and some declaration of originality also they may ask you declaration of originality the declaration must includes the others individual containing this paper originality of your work being yours only you have to give authorization i think most of you know that and research work not submitted to or uh, published elsewhere anywhere uh, in the globe that's what they are expecting and majorly the plagiarism must be less than 5% excluding the references you can see that excluding the references no journal will ask you the plagiarism with the uh, uh, references that's what uh, if you exclude the references then plagiarism somewhat may come down that may come down so the moment if the journal is not asking the plagiarism report then you have to think about the journal when uh, uh, when the journal is asking plagiarism report less than 5% or less than 10% then you can say that it is a professional journal and high impact or somewhat reputed journal if any journal is accepting your paper without any plagiarism report without any any declaration without any uh, other formalities only for fee payment if they are accepting the journal that would be a fake that will be a clone journal clone journal that we can say that that would be a fake journals or otherwise uh, the impact factor may be very low that may not be useful to your career so that's why the journal which is asking the plagiarism report less than 10% would be considered as a, a best journals and uh, your orc id i think i already told in my previous scopus uh, uh seminar last uh, uh, i think six months back what we have conducted there i told you that orc id open researcher and contributor id many of the journals are asking orc id also because their orc id is a unique id which you can use uh for publishing your paper and all your journals and publications will be linked to this orc id orc id if you link all those journals with orc id your h index will increase h index high index we can say that that is a teacher or author index which is been calculated uh, by a google scholar and other uh, reputed uh, uh, open source access uh, journals so that's why orc id and h index these two will contribute to your uh, uh, career so don't forget that uh, publish your paper with orc id so that it will be linked uh, to your h index h index so coming days no resume will be asked for a teacher simply they may ask you one question what is your h index baka if you say your h index that's enough that shows your teaching proficiency that shows your research talent okay i think coming days no resume will be asked from any teacher in the globe if you want to go to any abroad or for any teaching position they may ask you just simply h index the moment you give your name they will search on site or website or on google or somewhere they will see your h index but that's enough that shows your talent or your proficiency so as as i as i told you like uh, we are going to discuss about the plagiarism today the actual meaning or a definition that we can say that uh, to use a words or ideas of another person as if they were not their own words or ideas if the words or ideas are not your own if you are copying from somewhere that is been called it as that is been shown as plagiarize that is what the web definition that we can give 
for this to steal or pass off any ideas words of other, another as you are showing your own that is been shown that you are plagiarized it is a very dangerous thing they can file a case against you they can sue against you in the international court also many teachers faced this problem by plagiarizing their own ideas their own text their own papers as they are saying showing that that their own work so be careful this is what the definition that been given uh, as a uh, uh, verb plagiarized uh, definition so be careful that don't be theft any research any ideas from any paper even if you take any idea any part of the paper try to show in reference so it cannot be considered as a plagiarized that is what one thing that we can say that there are many common types of plagiarism here complete plagiarism that you know that submit another paper right another author's work on your name uh, name that you submit that is been say that uh, complete plagiarism source based plagiarism is also there reference an incorrect or non existent source Sim simply they create they write uh, their own words and uh, they copy from somewhere and they create a fake references that is what source based plagiarism and direct plagiarism that we can say that uh, uh, here direct plagiarism means like a copy text from any other document word to word word to word without any change without any change that we can uh, copy that you know that very well and uh, self and auto plagiarism sometimes you are writing a, a, a second paper in your own field so your previously published paper may be copied and pasted in your second paper your own words your own publishing matters may come in second paper that is been called self or auto plagiarism this can be avoided just you check your previous paper and uh, uh, just use paraphrasing tool and try to change it so this is a self and auto plagiarism and one more type is there that plagiar paraphrasing plagiarism some people what they do completely they will download somebody's paper uh, completely they download and they rewrite by using the paraphrasing tool nothing they do their own just changing the paragraphs rewrite the paragraphs by using the paraphrasing software this is what happened that is what pl paraphrasing plagiarism this is another type of a plagiarism that we can see this next mosaic plagiarism right entirely someone else praises text within your work within your work entirely like a uh, within your work like uh, some gap they will give between the two paragraphs in the two paragraphs in the, in the middle they will try to add something that's enough major work is others only your portion is very uh, three four lines uh, portion will be there just you add your idea three four lines your idea remaining thing you will copy as it is you keep uh, others work that is what mosaic plagiarism we that we can say that your contribution will be very less here in this and uh, accidental plagiarism accidental plagiarism means see the english is a, like a global language everyone use i am going to school if you write this word i am going to do this research if you use this word this is globally every teacher everyone use this common language so when you are accidentally you are writing on your own you may use common language when you are using common language your intention is not to plagiarize but you are writing in your own words accidentally it may get plagiarized so when you are writing your own words also sometimes it may show you as a plagiarism because that words may be uh, others may be used uh, that language so these are all accidental plagiarism that uh, without intention no intention to plagiarize but in uh, without your intention it may come sometimes next uh, inaccurate authorship inaccurate authorship like authorship instead of acknowledgement contributors vice versa like 
without you are copying but you are not acknowledging without acknowledgement uh, by removing others name in the technology name you keep others name in acknowledgement so that is what another plagiarism that we can say that these are all uh, different uh, plagiarisms that we can see this uh, in our daily life this is what i want to show this next one is that yeah so these are the common types you see the plagiarism in uh, statistics in various universities see the alarming statistics if they are showing that see 66% of the 16000 students from 31 prestigious us universities have cheated at least once the plagiarism is problem is global it's not a local even american top most universities are facing this problem 66% of 16000 students they plagiarized and 12% of those reported themselves as a regular cheaters 12% they agreed that yes we are cheating we are plagiarizing that is what uh, the statistics talking about this cheating on campus increased and estimated 744% from 1993 to 2018 says uh, uh, california berkeley officials they are showing that the plagiarism percentage is been cheating is been increasing uh, nearly 40, 744% is been increased in between 1993 to 2018 that is what they are saying that and global plagiarism statistics if you see a study the center of academic integrity found that almost 80% of the college students admit to cheating at least once that is what it is showing that and world report found that 90% of the students believe that cheaters are either never caught or have uh, appropriately uh, disciplined like they are not they are not caught because teachers are not bothering about that from where you copy they are not checking the plagiarism so they never caught that's why they are repeatedly doing this plagiarism cheating so that's why if we take proper actions they may change these are the statistics that uh, i want to show you uh, in this regard and you have we ever seen plagiarism report generated in turnitin i think most of the teachers most of the teachers not only here in every country uh, i think there are uh, many teachers they do not know the plagiarism report even just i would like to show the plagiarism report that i have generated through uh, turnitin let me show you let me show you the uh, plagiarism reports <clears throat> see this is what the report which i have generated right uh, one of the students uh of a uh, university you see these colors which is been showing in different colors will indicate different sources from where you have copied this report is been generated by turnitin there is a software called turn it in from that website we have generated the report you see in the last it will give the sources from where they have copied you see this paper is 73% similarity index 73% similarity index is there 72% internet sources 28% publications 51% student papers it is been showing total report see this is a major source which is been copied 11% which which one is it is etd dot i think adisa baba university i think this is adisa baba university edu dot et from this source 
they have copied majorly so like this you can see other sources also wait a minute please some people they are asking uh, they are unable to join but i gave every information on the telegram group and mails also uh, this is what you see this is what the report that that we can generate through turnitin so by seeing this see how many sources nearly 46 50 56 70 are what is this number nearly it is going 87 sources means this is the 51 pages report 51 pages report have been copied from 87 sources from 87 sources they have been this is what the report the high impact journals will ask when they are asking plagiarism report that's baka finished your research talent will come out the moment you submit this paper they will check with the plagiarism then immediately they will take the action if it is red flag it is showing if it is showing the red flag like this 73% is a red flag if it is a red flag it is showing if you submit your paper within within seconds they may show red flag to you unconditionally your paper has been rejected even they don't give permission for modification also modification also they don't give so this is what happens this is a one of the wonder we can say that to test a students assignment to test a teachers research so this is what a, a plagiarism report that we can check with this so this is what i would like to show here and uh, in this how to generate how to find check and reduce the plagiarism right i already told you before doing this i will show you some plagiarism i will go back again i want to show you some plagiarism checking report uh, checking softwares wait i am showing you yeah here you see the turnitin this is one uh, uh, plagiarism checking software ah uh, here the turnitin this is the old number one plagiarism checking software 80% of the universities 90% of the reputed journals they prefer turnitin this is what the website that i have given i will show you just i will take you to that website by using this turnitin how to generate the report regarding turnitin i will talk you later now how to generate a report how to generate a report by using turnitin i will show you now <clears throat> yeah i will show you now So simply, you go to Turnitin login page. I will provide you all these links 
no problem don't worry this is turn it in login page you remember the spelling turn it in t u r n i t i n turn it in this is what the uh, website or software what we, that we can say that i'm giving my username and password it's very challenging the task to get this username and the subscription for this turnitin because most of the times they are not providing individual subscriptions directly this is what uh, the turn it in login I think it is very slow. Because it's a total online uh, training, we need a good brand band also. Sir, not visible. Okay, it's screen is not visible. We didn't share, sir. Yeah, sorry. Wait, wait. I'm sharing. Amlaga, is it coming screen? That's coming. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, I'm sharing. It's coming? Okay, okay. He said now. It's coming, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yes, turn it in. Yeah, it's a uh, it's open now. See, I took this uh, South University University. Uh, I have some contacts over there, so I requested them to uh, give some individual subscription. Then they could able to provide from Philippines. Uh, I have some global friends. From there, I have taken this. So it is a South University. So for taking this turn it in, there are many options, university level subscriptions, instructor level subscriptions, and student level subscriptions also there. But student level, how to get the student level and instructor level, I will guide you later. As of now, I will show you how to, how to generate a plagiarism report, how to check plagiarism by using turn it in software. This is what your uh, login page here. It is showing, you see, if you see, it is showing my name here. So first it is the turn. It is most of the people, what they think, think is that the turn it in software is only for researchers. No, the turn it in is for majorly it is focused 
with the university teacher and student level because see we are teaching in devrathavar university for each section we have 25 to 40 students all students are submitting their assignments is it possible individually to check how much plagiarism is there from where they have copied is it genuine or not it's very difficult to check 40 reports so that's why here you see create a classes here you can create the class by creating the class here i have created you see down by creating this class under this class you can ask students to submit their assignments okay uh, in detail uh, i will give you first let me generate the first let me generate the report under this class something is happening i think internet yeah here you see advanced financial management it is what we are saying that under this class afm advanced financial management under this section different students are there let's see view we'll create view under this view you see so many students submitted their assignment the first means with my name only i submitted the similarity index the first name 49% you are able to see second okay 49% third nega tespa 76% like this it will show similarity index based on this you can give the grade the moment they submit the grade the moment they submit the assignment to this site immediately it will check uh, plagiarism immediately it will show the similarity thing so let us Uh, upload one document and let us check another file submit i'm i'm uh, clicking on submit and here first name let us take a b d c last name g and uh, here i'm giving submission title plagiarism check 1 let them check one i am giving here choose from your computer i am choosing here i put some uh, plagiarism reports to check here i am checking which one uh, small uh, file will take because internet is not that much speed if you give big uh, file it may give late report so let me take this open it and upload it and upload it you see the moment you uploaded in a file in the turnitin it is showing author abdc g assignment title afm submission title paper check 1 like this file size it is showing paper count to two papers word count it is showing 517 and uh, character count Two eight zero zero five. So this is what two pages uh, report. Name confirm submission. Yeah, it is confirmed. Now go to assignment box. Go to assignment box. This is what we submitted. Yes, A B D C G. This is what the paper we have submitted. here the similarity index will come here two pages we submitted just let us wait one or two minutes so that uh, it will show uh, similarity here it will show similarity here uh, 
right see the assignment session is there in turn it in student session is there grade book is there library is there calendar is there discussion preferences so if you want to uh, uh, if if you want uh, if you want uh, a, a total picture of this turn it in it will take another 3 hours uh, for uh, turn it in uh, uh, explanation but today i focused only generating the reports and uh, uh, how to set how to set uh, uh, before checking the plagiarism in turn it in so that's what uh, my focus is this only today so if you want uh, i will conduct one more session on total turn it in software usage so still the report has not been generated why the many universities are using turn it in means in the globe there is no perfect competitors to this turn it in because it has a huge database it has a huge database where it can check your paper the better the higher the database with the software the better the plagiarism report so that's why many uh, universities many top renewed journals are using turnitin as a base so still it is generating report let's see uh, meanwhile i will show you one uh, uh, report just i'm opening this see your internet connection is unstable it is saying so let's see after some time it may come report may come i will show you one generated report you see here i'm generating uh, generated already generated report is there i'm opening this if you want to open this generated report just you have to click on this percentage just you have to click on the percentage so just i'm clicking on percentage the report has been getting open the report has been getting open that percentage it will open actually high uh, speed broadband is required bro uh, i think uh, broadband is very low today still the uh, report has been getting open ah uh, you see this is what the report is which has been generated this is a two pages report two pages report the moment you this red this red block whatever red that you are uh, seeing here this red belongs to author our modification that we can say that the moment you click on percentage it is showing you see from where david a carter daniel 32% he he copied from this source pt script.com 22% he copied so like this it is showing here you see grade also there by seeing this grade 20 marks i gave for this assignment here grade report is also there you see if turn a flag it is showing red flag red flag it is showing when red flag it is showing then out of 20 how many marks you will give i can give zero if it is 76% 70% is there means out of 20 5 6 you can give that is not a matter here so now this is what report and here some options are there you can filter it you can filter it what we can filter here exclude the quotes exclude the bibliography and some journals what they will ask you can exclude the quotes exclude the bibliography and exclude 1% plagiarism which is detecting you see any 1% plagiarism is there no it's all above 5% only so when you are filtering some some documents may have less than 1% plagiarism so here you can filter it in words how which words you have to 
uh, remove or acceptance. So 1%, you can give less than 1% if it is there. You can click on this one and this one. And these marks, you have to do based on your journal requirement. If the journal is asking you to exclude the clothes or bibliography, then you tick mark this. After doing this, after doing this, just you have to click on apply changes. Here you see, apply changes are there. Here you can see this, apply changes. If I apply changes, any change in the plagiarism? No, nothing. Because there is no quotes, there is no uh, bibliography. That's why there is no change. 76% it is showing. This is what we can say that. And if you want to give comments to the students, you can click on it. You see, this right mark is there. The moment you click on it, here you can comment with voice. Here you can comment with voice. Voice comment, you can give like a uh, dear students by clicking on it, three minutes recording you can do. Dear students, your report is more plagiarized. Please rewrite, otherwise, your assignment marks would be zero. Now, record it. This, when student opens his file in the Turnitin account, this audio record, this report, and I'm putting here, out of 22 marks I'm giving. So these are all will be displayed to the students. This is for student section, to write the comment and all. So this is a review. But I'm talking, I'm not talking about student perspective here. I'm talking about a research perspective. So in research perspective, these are all, you, you can do this. There's no change in it. Uh, next uh, coming slides, I will show you how to bring this 76% plagiarism to 5% or even 0%. I will tell you the tricks. How to bring this plagiarism to zero level, how to bring this up to 5% five, uh, 5 level. I will tell you that. So I think you, now you, you can see this. Okay. Now here, if you want to download this report, here there is an option called download option. Just you click current view means whatever it is showing here, the colors uh, or percentage, which is there, total report will come. Digital report. Digital report means it will show like uh, uh, how many words you submitted, which date you submitted, how much is the plagiarism, receipt it will give. And if you click on originally submitted file, before what you have submitted before plagiarism, that's, that file will come out. Uh, we can download it. I'm downloading it again, current view. The moment you download current view, it will come, this report. So after downloading this uh, report, then you can upload to a journal. You can send it to which party you want to send. Okay. Changes made you manage your uh, leave. Okay. This is what a plagiarism, turn it in plagiarism report that we can check. Let me close this. Yeah. ABDC. Still, it is not a. Uh, our internet is very slow, I think. FM. Yeah, ABDC Krishna. This is what we have uploaded now. Now report has come, you see. Still it is showing red. If it is less than 6%, it will show yellow. If it is more than 70%, it is showing red color, red color. So like this, we can check the plagiarism by using Turnitin. This is what the report. So now let us go to the slide. Let us go to the slide. After downloading, you can save somewhere this. Where it is, uh, ABDC. I'm downloading it. Download current view.
<coughs> yeah okay right so that is what uh, turn it in uh, when it comes to the plagiarism techniques and all i will tell you first major things whatever you are selecting the plagiarism software whatever you are taking whether turn it in i authenticate or plagiarism checker x urkund paperpass.net paperrater.com these are all various types of plagiarism checking softwares where turn it in if you see this turn it in let me yeah yeah this turn it in that just now i have shown you that and i i tend to care this is an one more uh, uh, site plagiarism x this is there uh, on website the, the, these are all paid ones free one you never get it but i have some alternatives i will tell you that this urkund major indian universities use urkund major universities while making up the thesis indian universities use urkund for uh, plagiarism checking report and this paperpass.net paperpass.net these are all i will show you the websites and i will show how to check by using these websites okay i will check later let us go one by one so what is similarity check in turn it in does not check plagiarism in a piece of work instead they will check the plagiarism uh, student work against their database that is what the uh, uh, specialty of this turn it in i already told you it has a huge database billions of web pages both current and archived content from internet that's why uh, plagiarism would be very correct in this turn it in website i already told you it is showing administrator instructor and student so those who want to subscribe you can mail me later or you can telegram uh, i will tell you different sources that we have to get instructor account with the minimum charges i will tell you if a uh, turnitin wants to take like any university level if they want to take it's take nearly 1 million it's very costly affair and instructor version if you want they are asking nearly 300 to 400 dollars it, it's very costly affair to get a, a turn it in and i already told you this uh, this colors which represents 0% means blue color 6% green 43% yellow and 58% and so on so like this 70 above percent is there means then it may 80% or 70% is there means it may show in red color so 75 sir, to 100 sir. matching text Krishna, red sir. so this is what uh, we can see about uh, uh, turnitin checkups or subscriptions sir krishna sir yes hello sir uh, how to remove that uh, 70% to 6% and 0% can you show yeah i'll show ma'am I- i'm i'm coming i'm coming to that only i'm coming to that only things you must know while using the turnitin that uh, i will show you while doing that uh, report and uh, you should remember some people what they do they will submit their report to their friends uh, those who are having say for example i have account my friends may send it to me to check the plagiarism while checking the plagiarism you be remember that you are all teachers while checking the plagiarism you have to remember this repository non repository i will show you that repository means the document save in turn it in database non repository means document do not save in turn it in database while submitting the document you have to set this document otherwise otherwise what will happen you know if they are putting document with repository that the moment they submit they will check the plagiarism okay it may came like a 20% next time after reducing the 20% again if they want to check again if they live, upload it will show 100% plagiarism it's a very dangerous thing so it's very difficult to remove the document from the database again 
so always it show 100% data 100% plagiarized so be careful so while submitting your paper to your friends or any relatives those who have a turnitin subscription tell them that repository non -depo non repository that repository should always be off a non repository should be uh, on so that's why you have to take and three dangerous things in turnitin exclude the bibliography and references yes always high impact journals also they may ask you exclude references and bibliography try this you can reduce 20 to 30 percent of the plagiarism and exclude the quoted materials from the similarity check yeah quoted when you are taking a definition or any sources you put it in the code so that you can reduce so you can put s yes for this also exclude the small sources yes one percent less than one percent you can put that depends upon the uh, uh, journal requirement and submit the paper to non-repository, not a repository. So this is what I can say that. And uh, how to get Turnitin, I already told you, the single, the single uh, uh, percent, uh, this is hundred dollars they are saying, multiple they are saying three hundred dollars, but it's very difficult and costly affair. Uh, you can telegram me if you want, I will provide you uh, with the less charges. Uh, I have some contacts, I'll provide you that. And uh, students log in and all, I told you, I will teach you later. Alternatives to get in, turn it in indirectly. Alternatives to get turn it in. What is that? I already told you, formal institutions and individual subscriptions from other universities, those who have subscriptions is possible. Using cracked versions. I have some, uh, some cracked websites where you can download a turn it in. Products crack.com. It's, I think, uh, 40 days trial. You can use Turnitin, 40 days trial. So you can use from different, so, different uh, systems so that you can get a free trial. The, just you try with this, but be careful. You need to have U Torrento. Torrento software you need to have to get this installed. So any Dibratava University teachers, if you are willing to uh, download it, you try with this link. If you have any doubts, please contact me. This is what uh, one website, one good software, uh, uh, that cracked version that we can say that. This plagiarism X and all, I will uh, uh, will go ahead. And, uh, plagiarism, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, right. Now let us come to this. Many of them are waiting for this. Plagiarism removal techniques. Yes. First stage one, how to avoid this plagiarism? Stage one, first before removing, while writing paper itself, avoid the plagiarism first. How? You have to know about, just now I shown you the plagiarism report. From that, you can exclude the quotes, you can exclude the definitions, you can exclude the bibliography like this. So first one is that know about the plagiarism and write in your own words. The moment when you start your article, when you start in your own words, then you can avoid the plagiarism and represent your own idea. Don't copy from anyone. Even if you copy idea also, sometimes they may copy idea but put it in your own words, put it in your own words and make use of proper citations. That is what the major thing that uh, people do the mistake is that they don't put proper citations from where they have copied. Put the citation, put the quot quotation mark, bugger. While using turn it in, exclude the uh, quotations, then it will not show the plagiarism. So this is a stage one, write up your own. Next stage two, there are two ways to reduce the plagiarism. One is unethical, informal technique. Another one is ethical, formal technique, ICQP. Unethical, I think most of you know, might know that globally many researchers does this. 
ओके डज दिस अनेथिकल इनफॉर्मल टेक्निक आई स्पेस रिप्लेस आई स्पेस रिप्लेस आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दिस टेक्निक प्लीज फॉलो मी बट आई एम शोइंग यू नॉट टू डू दिस आई एम शोइंग यू नॉट टू डू दिस इट्स अ वेरी अनेथिकल वे ऑफ प्रैक्टिस आई विल शो यू फॉलो मी uh wait are you able to see my screen is it visible am lock yes sir yes sir okay right 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 you see see this is the report a journal report like it is i have copied from somewhere from an article okay when i check this report when i check this report the plagiarism is showing when i check this report the same it's the same document i have checked okay how much percentage it is showing 76% it is showing i have checked the same no change in the document now now i'll bring it down to 0% without to doing anything just a simple technique but it is unethical be remember that don't follow how people are doing cheating i'm telling you but don't you don't cheat okay just i'm opening it a document i'm opening the document just click on replace just to click on replace this window is coming from this just find what just to give one space next next another space down put i put i okay here you click on more you click on format you click on font here no color is been chosen click on white color okay click on white color okay replace all click on how many words is replaced word has completed its search of document and has made 398 replacements okay so now okay now close the window you see all is showing red color yeah all are showing in red color but when you make this let me save this let me save this save as i space training okay you remember the document name i may forget uh, test flag hidden okay okay i have done this okay this one this is the document this is the document that we have made the changes with the i space now let us check let us check with the turn it in submit the file upload uh i space okay here, here it is uh, first name it is asking krish G. Otherwise, we'll give Veda. G. Submission file name title. 
plagiarism i space remove okay i'm giving here choose from your computer choose from your computer next hidden text this is what the document that you have modified select open select open upload it has been uploading here this document is showing this much count word count and all confirm confirm go to assignment box where we are assignment uh, afm advance assignment title afm under this it is there so under this afm i space remove uh, this one i space plagiarism space remove veda yeah this one na veda we have submitted just now this what did you showing plagiarism plagiarism Sir, that, that file veda file or i space training both are not here no ah no 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 same ma'am because i tried i tried uh, not same see this is what plagiarism is showing zero now you see <laughs> Zero plagiarism. Mm, Here sir, it is showing it, zero. Okay, wonderful. Is it accepted by any? <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, ma'am. It's ah. unethical practice. Uh, the uh, that researchers like teachers, those who want immediate publication, they tie up with uh, some journals. Uh huh. They tie up with the journals, and uh, immediately yeah. within two three days, if they want to publish, you ah. see. you may be submit you may be submit to them but thing is that with the moment you turn it in when you check this you see here it is showing the warning message see turnitin uh -huh. has flagged this paper here it is showing warning okay flagged this paper as a having word usage pattern that sometimes uh -huh. interface with the normal match detection uh -huh. so that's why this is giving because turn it in the moment we generate we know the fact when you submit them uh. when they are checking they may find out that they may find okay. out that okay uh. Uh, let me show you see one more thing they can find this is what the file we modified no some yes. authors editors what they do you know the moment they highlight the text you see the mm. moment they highlight the text you can background color you change you see hmm. it is very unethical practice that most of the researchers and teachers they are doing i am telling you unethical ethical way i will show you now see the moment they highlight it then it is showing see what they did is when you when you are not highlighting it is not showing anything it is a normal text so this is what one unethical practice of doing uh, plagiarism uh, reduction this is what they do so this is one way next another way another way ethical all formal technique to reduce the plagiarism to reduce the plagiarism this is that icqp what is this icqp we can check this this IC, icqp like how to reduce the plagiarism you can use four step formula that is i i means identification c means citation q means quotation p means paraphrase paraphrase so this is what Uh, the four steps that we can follow. First, we'll see I. What is this I? I is uh, talking about identification. You should know how software detects the plagiarism. How software detects the plagiarism? When 
continuously six words are matching continuously six words above six words are matching means the software detects the plagiarism above six words then break the sequence that six uh, six words that continuously coming means plagiarism it detects break the sequence that a continuous sequence if you break by using your own words or by using the paraphrasing software you can reduce it sometimes accidental plagiarism detects some like uh, when you are writing this paper is been okay many teachers many authors may be writing this paper is been uh, setting up the goal for to find out so these are all common language when we are using this common language many teachers may be using the same common language so that uh, try to rechange that uh, common language if it is detecting accidental plagiarism of your own words accidental plagiarism will come with uh, your own write up and uh, actually you are not copied from anywhere so number 1 break the sequence number 2 if any accidental crime uh, plagiarism is there write your own words example you see i have given here one one word the work has been carried out by different experiments to reach the goals that is one sentence it got detected the plagiarism what you to do you rewrite to reach the goal you rewrite the reach the goal the work has been carried out by different experiments so just you have to rewrite with the identification this is one one way just we'll do practice practice also after uh, this after this we'll do practice also next how to reduce the plagiarism like one more thing identification i c citations many people in the body they keep one name smith the 2016 written uh, so i said so and so you write but you don't put it in major references there are two types of references are there a body citation reference citation both are there so citation body body citation reference citation this is this must be done so when you are excluding plagiarism will not detect plagiarism will not detect next one is that quotations use quotations for uh, definitions and other uh, uh, like uh, definitions like uh, uh, sometimes references also you can quote you can quote and uh, you can use paraphrase other than this quotations other than this definitions other than this references any matter is matching then try to use try to use paraphrasing tool and rewrite the text using paraphrasing softwares so this is what uh, we can say uh, let me let me show you one example for this let me take you to that let me take you uh, as exercise icqp see this is what this is what the document that i have first let me check the plagiarism for this after checking the plagiarism after checking the plagiarism we will rewrite it we will rewrite it so let me go through that let me go through that uh, submit a file uh, here i am giving rohit ic up ic up last name g rohit ic up you remember that icqp test sir where do you submit paper let me once sorry what ma'am where do you submitting now Which here i am uh, submitting to turn it in where, where sir first initial where where in uh, afm like uh, under this uh, afm assignment Ah, assignment. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah, under this assignments. Okay, okay. Because in a turn it in, you have to create it. It, it mine is instructor account. Okay. So okay. under that uh, instructor account, class will be there. Under that class, ah, uh, assignment course course will be there. Under that course 
assignment will be there okay so under this assignment i am submitting this choose from this computer or this icqp before i see i am um, um, uploading this before i see qp upload it uh, it has been uploaded yes i want you are going kalingaling okay Yes, sir. Ah, no, I'm there. Go to assignment box. I think uh, to the room. Okay. <coughs> okay. 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 You see, this is what we submitted. This is what we submitted. The file. Rohit ICQP G ICQP test. How much it is showing? It is showing sixty-five percent plagiarism. Sixty-five percent plagiarism. It is showing. Filter will exclude quotes, bibliography. Then apply the changes. We'll see. even if you apply also and i think no change will be there because no quotes no references here so this is what 65% it is showing now let us modify this by using icqp technology icqp let's see this current view download we are downloading it Ah, uh, it has been downloaded. I see QP test. Is here. I am pasting here. <coughs> you see. this is a before modify like a this is a report which is been showing where it is ha ah, this one see smith and stolge 1985 it is showing a plagiarism it is showing plagiarism let me open it smith this is what we can say that so what i do what i do here uh i'll use quotations q here the first technique quotation and uh, here also i'm using quotation and here i'm putting number 1 citation number 1 citation i'm putting and you copy the same you copy the same under this references under this references you put it a uh, copy it number 1 you give the number same number you put smith and all under this references okay so this is been done with the quotation this is been done next one let's see another icqp test it is difficult in adoption of technology fear so here it is showing that uh plagiarism where is it? it is difficult so it is it is difficult here so here also what i do uh so don't put so many quotations as much as you try to reduce and try to make it paraphrasing 
so what i do here here i'll copy i'll copy it and i use paraphrasing tool there is a best paraphrasing tool quilbit uh, quilbit it is there it uh, ah quilbot paraphrasing tool it is there just copy here and paste here yeah right it is there total you have to copy total ah it is there just paraphrase it is a good uh, uh, paraphrasing tool quillbot it is giving a uh, different versions of language different uh, meanings you see here it is difficult to difficult in adoption of technology fear to use like this it is there here it is been totally changed adoption of technology is difficult okay there is a fear of using new technology like this totally sentence has been changed totally sentence has been changed just to copy this where plagiarism plagiarism is there there you can copy and paste it this one you can replace it control v control v you do and uh, if you want you you cut this and paste it here paste it here i year i year whatever uh, apa format you have to follow afterwards you can keep this also number 2 reference number 2 reference the same you come to reference column second reference what is that this one but you have to follow apa format just uh, now i am putting like this but you have to follow apa format american psychology format control v here it is been done now okay next let us see some more in this document uh here in this paragraph no plagiarism and second the bank is financial institution which deals it has a plagiarism the bank has a financial institution and uh, like this just simply you put it in quote right you put it in quote in this and uh, you copy this or cut this and put it here and put in quotation here so this is second uh, and uh, this is third third reference the third reference which we have sorry yeah right then the third reference you put here third absolutely you have, when you are writing a research paper if you follow this format like this whatever reference you are putting in the body the same citation must be put it in reference so like this if you follow this as much as possible you can reduce the plagiarism control c and paste sir too many uh, quotations are allow for no 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 to, to, that's why i'm telling you no ma'am uh, sometimes you have to use uh, paraphrasing or uh, sometimes you have to use uh, your own words sometimes you have to use quotations like this that's why i told you four techniques uh, to as uh, that some journals they may Uh, tell you in their guidelines too much quotations are not allowed if they are not telling this word then you can choose that's why first rewriting see if it is work uh, detected it is not detected the plagiarism okay the work has been carried out 
by different experiments to reach the goal then if it is detecting just cut and paste here so like this you can modify it you see break the sequence and uh, use the paraphrasing sometimes use sometimes quotations like this you have to use different uh, 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 techniques don't use uh, continuously quotations are like this that's what i'm telling you sir and one more uh, one, one yes, more thing uh, so when we are doing paraphrasing yes ma'am grammatical uh, forms uh, how we have to check it structure of the sentence ah uh, structural is that's uh, for that you have to paste it in grammarly uh, structural issues will not change that's why I'm, i will recommend you to go this paraphrasing tool ma'am this structuring would be good this one a uh, quillboard sir a uh, quillboard is good ma'am many of the journals are accepting this quillboard okay okay uh, use this only don't go for other uh, paraphrasing tools because this sentence formation would be good here so uh, so here uh, in 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 the first uh, this column sir first column you are pasting automatically it gives us the information in the next box am i right yes yes ma'am uh, sir once you please do and how far it is doing in the zero format that's why that's why i'm telling it, I, i'm i'm doing it, it yes sir. this has been done and last paragraph last paragraph bank have been significantly affected so last paragraph it is showing bank has been significantly i have no time otherwise i can rewrite it that's why i am using uh, quillboard let's be let us this paragraph paraphrasing uh ah, it's been done the speciality of this quillboard is that when you are paraphrased if you want to change the words it is possible here you see it is highlighting the text which is been modified so efficiency is there you see click on this order to improve efficiency and hence the meaning is changing if you want to change this you can change this you can change this wait uh, if you want to modify it evolution of technology development of technology like this different words it is been showing which one should suits to this you can choose on your own so that is what the speciality of this billboard billboard is like that so just simply it is good only looking let me copy and uh, paste replace this i yeah now references are there quotations are there night icqp like quotations citations we have modified it now the document is ready let us save it as test plagiarism after icqp this is the file we are saving it after icqp close it minimize it okay uh previously it was showing uh, how much percentage it was showing uh, like 65 something uh, 65 okay 65 it is showing now after modifying let us check the plagiarism let us check the plagiarism now ah it's a now we are checking this under assignment afm submit a file uh, file name rohit okay sorry ah okay let me let us rohit ji last name ji submission title rohit icqp after modified let us upload it this is what now test plagiarism after icqp open it sub so upload it
So now confirm it. When it has been confirmed, go to assignment. This is what Rohit GC, Rohit ICQP after modified. So it is working on it to test the plagiarism. Yeah, you see, previously, how much it is there? 65. You see, previously 65 is there. Now it has come down to 19%. By using paraphrasing tool or by using one words, by using quotations, Okay, so you can filter it here. Uh, it is all, already it is there, quotes and all. Is there any less than 5% or less than 1%? Yeah, less than 1% is also there. So you can, ex here you can check less than 1% exclude, right? I'm putting and uh, let me check. Less than 1% I'm putting, apply the changes. When you do apply the changes, uh, it is not taking because maybe it is one to uh, one point five to two percent. Maybe even if I give also no change, no change. So that's why from sixty five percent to we have we could able to bring to nineteen percent. So like this, when you have uh, when you have this software, the moment when you uh, check like this quotations, paraphrasing your own words, then you can check some more uh, modifications are required. Then yeah, just you keep on, just you keep on work on it so that you can bring it down to five to 10%. We, we could able to bring from 65% to 19% within one attempt. Within one attempt, we could able to bring. Okay. So that's why you have to do two more attempts. When you do two more attempts, obviously it may come less than 10%, less than, less than that. So we'll try to do these ICQP technique also. So these are the techniques that uh, I would like to tell you and turn it in. You see, I told you, you know, regarding the repository, non-repository. Where see? is that, sir? Ah. You see, the thing Where is that this repository, non-repository settings, we can do two ways. One is after creating an assignment or before creating an assignment. Here I have created AFM, Advanced Financial Management uh, uh, Assignment. Here, Edit Assignment Settings. Here one option is there. Click on it. Edit Assignment Settings. You see? Assignment title is AFM, points value 20 we are, I'm giving, starting date this, due date is this, post date, after posting comments, like this it is there. So it is for uh, student purpose. It is student, uh, you can give assignment due date and all. This is points you can give, how much you want to give. And uh, here one more option is there, uh, optional settings. Click on it. When you click on this optional settings here, enter specific instructions to the students if you want. Yes, you can include. Otherwise, allow the uh, submissions after due date. Yes or no? I will put no. After, If you put no, even if students are ready to submit, the system will not allow you to submit. Similarity reports. Generate the similarity reports for submissions. Yes, automatically it is doing that and generate the similarity reports for the students per submission. Yes, immediately we can do this. Bibliography, uh, now this is one thing. Exclude the bibliographic materials from the similarity 
index for all papers in the assignments exclude always this button must be yes always this button must be yes otherwise after generating report also in the filter you can make this change there also you can do and exclude the quoted materials from similarity index it should be yes when you are submitting your reports to the uh, friends to check the plagiarism report you try to guide them you try to guide them they might not know but they might know but if they don't know you lose your paper like you will uh, get more plagiarism exclude the small sources small sources means if you put s yes, less than 1% source is it will exclude so that plagiarism report will come less uh, better you put them yes exclude the small sources you have to remember that the journal requirements also because some journals they may specifically will give the instructions that don't exclude the uh, quote, quotes don't uh, include the uh, small sources like that there are some rules and regulations based on that you have to go ahead so allow the students to see the similarity reports you can put as uh, this is for students and uh, exclude the assignment templates these are all about uh, students uh, now here the major is that submit papers to here repository standard paper repository this option while giving uh, while assigning turnitin account also they will strictly they will warn you you be careful with the repository always put no repository if they put repository first time it may give plagiarism report next time it may give 100% plagiarism report no one can change again you have to request the administrator and the, there is a long procedure for that you have to put a letter to remove the paper from the database that's why this this option always should be no repository this is what uh, one of the most dangerous thing in a turnitin once it is gone your paper is gone so that's why you be careful that okay uh, no repository so these are all that's enough these are all major things uh, that uh, you have to set up while checking the plagiarism in turnitin in turnitin so this option also you can do by doing assignments also you see here assignments option are there add assignment you see add assignment for the class paper assignment click next click next here it is coming you see while adding assignments itself you can put the restrictions or you can select the rules and regulations how you want to put it so that's why before uh, creating uh, assignments you can put the rules and regulations this is another way to set the uh, assignment uh, like uh, rules and regulations plagiarism checking report reg regulations and this is what one thing that i would like to show uh, regarding the turn it in regarding the students here students option is also there you see nega tespa nega tespa i have added this student from next week onwards i am going to implement this turn it in on students because uh, i already gave them i can add students add the students because for me it is difficult the 30 40 assignment they are submitting i cannot check on google so the moment they submit to the turnitin then immediately turnitin will show the plagiarism report immediately from turnitin itself i can send the mail to them this is what your report i have my work over button would be less so here i am adding see thing is that enroll the students to here first name uh, some name we can give gk nega yes ma'am nega nega <laughs> nega already given ma'am okay, uh, new, new one ah okay. uh, yes yes nega nega mega uh, again, again nega i will give ma'am uh, because okay. uh, names are very this thing i am giving my mail id uh, okay no problem ji krishna great or missed submit when i am giving this uh where is this ah uh, 
right? Both have come same. Nega, Tespat, Nega. Hmm, this is what. See, I have added to this. I have added to this. And uh, one more like this. If you want to add the students, you can add some more also. Or otherwise, you can upload the students at a time. You can choose the file and you can upload. You can upload it. And in this AFM, there are many students are there. So like this, this is a student's version. Uh, you can add the moment they add uh, the assignment. Under this assignment, you can add many students like this. Then uh, you can give them uh, user ID and password. And uh, you can join, uh, they, they, they will join their uh, respective course. So with that, it will be done. So it is uh, another uh, lengthy explanation to use this Turnitin for the students. So that's why this uh, section, uh, I want to show you how to use Turnitin for the research uh, paper plagiarism reports. So that's why this, this students and all, uh, again, one more time, I will take the uh, session on it, how to use Turnitin for the students uh, plagiarism checking reports. So this is what one thing that I would like to show. And uh, I already told you plagiarism checking reports, uh, uh, checking plagiarism, checking uh, uh, softwares. Turnitin, I already show you. And how to get Turnitin accounts, I already told you that. And uh, plagiarism checker X. There is also plagiarism checker X. It is giving a desktop version. Uh, is, this is, I already downloaded it. The link I will uh, share you how to download this plagiarism X software. Up to 120 words. It is free. Up to 120 words, it is free. If it is crossing 120 words, it is also a second topmost uh, plagiarism checking software. This is what you see plagiarism check X prices free 120 words are free. You can check basically professional $39, nearly 40 dollars uh, per one user license, unlimited words you can use. Uh, but uh, compared to Turnitin, Plagiarism Checker X software has a less database. So it may detect less plagiarism. When it is getting less plagiarism detection, you may face the problem after submitting the paper to the journal. Because you are checking with the Plagiarism X, and you know, the concerned journal may check your plagiarism report with the Turnitin. So the plagiarism percentage may increase. Again, they may send you the mail to reduce the plagiarism. So that, that much difference would be there. That much difference would be there. If uh, your concerned journal is using the same plagiarism check X report and you are using plagiarism X report, then both can be matched. So that's why sometimes it is giving a lot of confusion to the teachers and the researchers uh, for uh, using this plagiarism softwares. Uh, this is what uh, I want to tell you, plagiarism X and all. And one more, I will tell you, in student point of view, the, uh, I would like to tell you, especially our university teachers, one more thing I would like to tell you that there is a paperpass.net. You see, I would like to tell you this. One more, is that, please unmute. Uh, uh, I will I will tell you Urkund, don't go for Urkund. This Urkund software is for only institutional level, not individual level. They are not giving any individual and even not uh, cracked softwares also. Urkund, don't go for it. Urkund software. But better you go with the paperpass.net to check students' assignments plagiarism paperpass.net. Just I will show you. This is another uh, software, but uh, you can also use it for your research paper also, but the first two days it's free after login. First two days, two, three documents 
with the uh, uh, 40 to 50 pages, you can check freely. First two days, paperpass.net. So you can you can use this. I will show you something about this. Paperpass.net. Here, uh, let me open it. Just it will show the percentage. You cannot download the report, but it will show the percentage. See, it is a page of a paperpass.net. Here you can click on and log in. It is already there, my password and all. Just I'm logging in it. Password is wrong. Huh? Otherwise, log in with the Gmail ID. Simply you can log in with the Gmail ID. No, it's working. Yeah, right. You see, this is simply uh, even uh, login details also not required. Just if you have Gmail ID and password, that's enough. Baka, you can upload your report. Here, the title you can give, the paper title. Or you can give test for like this simply. And uh, you can upload or drag the file. Upload and drag the file. Uh, will give before ICQP fail, uh, please select the another file because the current document word is 368. Okay. It is, it may take minimum 400 words should be there in the word minimum 400 words only it will take. So let me show you that. Minimum 400 words should be there. Let me take, let me take some uh, uh, matter from here. Uh, we'll copy this. Copy and paste. Minimum 200 page should be there. Yeah, let me go for this. Before I see you. Yeah, is the paper it. secure, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Is the paper secure? Why we upload uh, the title and uh, all the documents? Uh, is there any problem? No, no, no. So that's why I'm telling you. These sites don't use for your research papers. You can use for your students' reports. Okay. It is posted online, but uh, there, there will be uh, any problem. Nothing. Okay. Nothing, nothing. That's why uh, the moment you upload it, it will show, confirm the submission, view the report. Okay. Uh, you see, previously I have checked two, three papers. Now it has been checking uh, the students' report. That's why I'm telling you uh, the number of students when they submit the soft copy. I I don't recommend this for research papers. Okay. I don't recommend this for research paper. At least you use plagiarism X by taking hundred dollar or one fifty dollar. 
or otherwise i can help you from other sources so don't put your papers any other uh, unauthorized sources like uh, paperpass.net this i'm you uh, telling you for students purpose that's why because if it is hard work uh, like a uh, sweat work then don't do experiments with your research papers by putting everywhere by checking everywhere so that's why be careful be careful uh, i already told you uh, it is checking i think it may take one or two minutes meanwhile we'll go for this and uh, paper raters i already told you this and one more thing uh, you see secured. wait still it is working okay meanwhile we'll go paper see one more thing if you take any plagiarism checking software three things you should remember one is can individual get the subscription that is what one thing turn it in it's a not possible but directly not possible indirectly you can by say for example dibrata bhai university subscribed for the turn it in so they may give they may took the permission for 10000 students so uh, that university can allocate account to you so like this see central university i took from other philippines uh, university uh, user id and password they have created account for me so like this you can take other source so directly individual subscription i authenticate yes it is possible this uh, i i authenticate is a subsidiary of turnitin is a subsidiary of turnitin and cost cost is also turnitin is cost is very high 100 to 200 dollars and effectiveness if i see all these softwares the effectiveness is more for turnitin so that's why while choosing the plagiarism uh, softwares you have to check these three effectiveness cost and individual subscription that is what uh, i would like to tell you that and uh, if you see this yeah you see it is showing test for just now we have completed it is showing 63% plagiarism paperpass.net if you want to counter the student some students may argue no 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 my report is correct this is what this is what correct so immediately you can check you can show your report is this much see it is showing 63% and one more thing you can also download the report but it is restricting because it is a free account it is restricting you to download the report if you click click on update you see the prices uh prices it will show by the credits to download this paper how many credits are required it will show if it is two credits 1.99 dollars three credits 2.99 dollars like this there are many uh, prices based on the credits based on the size of the paper so that's why but uh, don't go for it don't buy from these sites just to know the uh, percentage just to know the percentage you can upload your students uh, reports here so that you will tell to the students you are plagiarized so this is what paperpass.net it is another uh, website that we can say that okay so that is what i want to tell you that uh, turn it in accounts and all i already tell you told you that uh, uh, cracked version for turn it in i will send you that uh, links you can get it you can try on your own and plagiarism check is finished and article rewriting paraphrasing uh, tools with this i will conclude my session
Yeah, right. You see, uh, there are some uh, article rewriter paraphrasing tools that you can use. I, I already told you that Quillboard, Quillboard, major uh, researchers uh, in the globe, they use Quillboard because uh, the paraphrasing or sentence formation is good. Up to 120 words, up to 120 words is free. And one more uh, interesting fact in this quillboard is that you have done a research. If you want to write the summary, you cannot write. So quillboard is providing you the summarizer also. Quillboard is uh, providing summarizer also. I will show you that. You see, uh, wait a minute, quillboard, where it is? Uh, this one, you see? Here, uh, Amalak, is it visible? Our screen? No, no, not, visible. not visible? Wait, wait, wait. Then screen will put. Share. Share. Uh. Uh, now full screen available. <coughs> yeah? Visible? Yes, it's visible. Ah, yes. ah, now, your squill board, the greatness of this squill board is that summarizer is also there. You see, here summarizer is there. The moment you copy your paragraph here, the moment you paragraph, please unmute yourself, somebody is speaking. Let me take a, one paragraph here. Let me take one paragraph uh, here. Uh, we are taking this. from any thing, uh, copy and paste it. Summarize. You can click on summarize. The moment when you click on summarize, Mr. Demake, can you put off your video? Ah, right. So see, I have given these many words, these many lines, 81, 81 words I gave. It has been summarized with the 45 words. It has been summarized with the 41 words. Again, if you don't like it, again, summarize it. So like this, summarize it is also possible with the quill board. This is a very good uh, software. Grammar checker is also there. You can check a uh, grammar also. That's why I'm recommending you this billboard software to use. So you can summarize it. Uh, you can uh, check the grammar, paraphraser. Many options are available for this billboard. So that's why this is one of the best uh, paraphrasing tool or software that you can use. Hello, sir. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah, is there any other platform for paraphrasing? For That's why I'm telling one by one I'm coming. I'm coming, sir. Thank you. I'm telling you. So experience yeah. with the full power of Killboard. This is monthly. They are asking $4.95. Monthly yeah. subscription if you want, $5 nearly. Next, you see different size, different uh, uh, panel, semi annual is there, annual is there. There are different uh, 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 packages that you can choose. Quill board. Thank you. Okay. Next one is that Reposto. Reposto, this is a second uh, uh, paraphrasing tool. You can try this, but uh, it is also one of the best tool that you can that you can use uh, repertoire this i will give i will share you the link for this okay you see the moment when i gave the original content this is paraphrased content this is also up to 500 to 1000 words it's free if you want to refresh 
just to copy the paragraph paragraph then you can do it this is what another uh, paraphrasing software that we can that you can use refers to the subscription uh, plans if you can see dollar 350 150 it's very costly of i basic it is there 50 per year okay 5000 such queries uh, you can use this this is refers to another uh, paraphrasing uh, software and a free article spinner this is another uh, software for paraphraser article uh, spinner you can spin five times six times spin means the moment when you spin it will change so you can spin 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 uh, continuously five to six times you can spin so that you can get uh, a good report or finalized report so that's why free article spinner this is uh, uh, another uh, paraphrasing tool i am giving you uh, the website also you can try you can try with this and one more paraphrasing tool is that spinbot spinbot is also there up to 10000 words up to 10000 words it's free and sometimes the speciality of this spinbot is that you can ignore the words say for example dibra tabur university is there if you want to ignore you type ignore this word so it will not disturb that word which word you, you, you don't want to change that words you can type and it will not change that words so that is what the speciality of this spin board good uh, uh, it is also another uh, good one and then is it per uh, day per yes, day 10000 per day 10000 words or uh, spin board no 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 mom per day per day and per day 10000 words ah, you see get. down you see here yeah this arrow mark okay ah uh, i copied only 7 799 words but it is up to 10000 words it is there capacity okay. per, per uh, my doubt is per day 10000 words it is checking or one time it is going to be checked i think uh, it's one time ma'am yeah Okay. one time one time one time you can check it so spinbot it is another uh, uh, good software that you can consider uh, one more word ai word ai another uh, fifth uh, paraphrasing it's free for 3 day 3 days trial is there you can try yearly monthly plans also there it is also one of the uh, best software for paraphrasing Three days trial is there. You try with that. You try with that. And one more, most uh, renewed and most of the global researchers use free tool. It's very much good. Like one more thing is that it's free, uh, no subscription or uh, nothing. It's article rewriter tool. <laughs> article rewriter tool. You remember this. This is also one of the best. Uh, what i like is that after uh, uh, the, the first uh, software this is second software that i like is that article rewriter tool after killbot so it's free you can use this one also you can recommend uh, uh, to your friends also this one okay so these are the various paraphrasing tools and techniques and plagiarism techniques thank you so much for your uh, patient listening continuously Three hour, uh, two hours. We have been uh, participated in this. Be patient. I'm uh, sharing a, a feedback link uh, in the chat box. Please fill the uh, feedback so that for uh, next seminar it would be useful to me. Just a minute, please. Uh, all of you, all of you, switch on the videos so that we'll take the group uh, photo. all of you switch on your videos please meanwhile i'm uh, pasting the feedback link on the chat box please fill it <clears throat> could you give me link or ricard yeah i'll give you i'll give you anyone uh, if you have any questions please please ask me now if you have any questions i will ask outside also okay okay, okay. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Can I ask? 
Yeah, please, please. Sir, good afternoon, all of you. This is Dr. Pawan from Ambo University, Ethiopia. Oh, Ambo University also. Are you joined from Ambo University? Sir, yes, sir. sir okay, okay. Like, Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Tell me, sir. I must congratulate you literally. Why? Because you have taken outstanding session for dispelling many doubts about the plagiarism and the paraphrasing techniques. I'm most thankful to you. I must appreciate your university authorities for having such a nice teacher like you. Then my question is, sir, uh, regarding, uh, for, uh, for example, if I am submitting a research paper to any general, in that research paper, if I write one or two paragraphs on my own uh, idea, which has no narrative citation or parenthetical citation, it is absolutely my own idea, which has no grammatical errors. Will it come under, will it come under plagiarism or not? Free that's why I'm telling you, sir. That's, it, that's, that's been called it as a self-plagiarism. Self-plagiarism, you're writing on your own, even though it is catching plagiarism. Either you have to try on your own again, paraphrase, or you can write on your own. That's why self-plagiarism is also detected. But uh, whether it is self plagiarism or is it a source plagiarism, whatever may be the plagiarism, plagiarism is plagiarism, it will detect by the computer, it will detect by the uh, tool, and the journal will consider it as a plagiarism. That's enough. They don't want self plagiarism or source plagiarism. They don't consider all these. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. And one Sir, more thing is that I would like to tell you thing. that one more thing. Uh, uh, many journals, they are giving 10% exception for this. Okay, okay. So it lies in that 10% exception. That's enough. Thank you, Doctor. Thank, uh, you, thank so you, sir. Thank you. Krishna, sir. Yes, ma'am. Feedback is not uh, active, not opening. I'm trying. Is that? Yes, I think you posted in chat box. Okay, 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 okay. Then, uh, okay, okay. I'm posting again. Let me check now. Uh, kindly send us the same to mail, sir. Oh, okay, ma'am. I will send it to the mail. Please uh, fill it. And that too, these, uh, uh, whatever you discuss with us, the sites. Sir. Sure, 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 ma'am. I will, recording. Uh, I will send you. I will send you all those uh, details. Then it is a brain pit, sir. Then it is a Otherwise, no use. Sure, 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 ma'am. Yes, please, all of you, uh, please, all of you, uh, switch on your videos. This will take one uh, group photograph. Please, all of you. Because it has become online program and everything is online. So you all have to do it. All of you switch on your uh, videos, please. Yes, I am. You want to display your system? I display your system. You have a system. I have a social program already. Photo NASA switch. I have a email. Yeah, slowly it is coming. Wait. Uh. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. So could you share us the link that you show us on the application? Telegram, maybe. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, yes. The, every material, whatever I have shown you in the PPT, all those PPT has been shared uh, uh, to your respective media. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, can I ask you one question? No, please, please. Dr. Kandia, please. You're welcome. Sir, thank you for your uh, presentation and I'm a Yes. Yes, sir. Please. Uh, there are some participants who want to get this opportunity. Therefore, how could you arrange it for next session? Next session, yes. We'll make it, sir. Uh, next time, you, is it for our university? Then, if it is our university, we will make it offline next time. Okay. okay. Hello. Yeah, I'm ready. Hello. I'm ready. Next session also will take. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, this is uh, from University of Gondar. 
Okay, thank you, sir. You have joined from Gondar also. I really appreciate your uh, splendid presentation. Thank you, on sir. On cross-cutting issue, which is paraphrasing and uh, uh, plagiarism. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you very much for thank you, your... Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, participating and I believe and that us. you are an asset for the Department of Accounting and Finance, specifically, and uh, to Devratabur University at large. Thank you, sir. Thank you, One sir. question. Uh, one question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which one is good for disseminating output? Let's say authors may open a variety of... Uh, uh, a research dissemination account. Others, sir, can you mute yourself, please? I'm unable to listen to the question. Yeah, please, sir. Yeah, thank you. You have mentioned uh, about Orsid account, and uh, I know there are a variety of uh, uh, Google accounts, let's say Google Scholar, Semantic Scholar, blah, blah. Public no, 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 no. Yeah, I understand. I understood your question, sir. ORC yeah. ID, Open Resource yeah. Researcher, ORC ID is a yeah. globally unique ID, which yeah. is being linked to the every journal publication, Scopus journal publication. If journal is not asking ORC ID or something like that, if they are not adding means, you have to think about the journal because most of the reputed or scope of journals, they are linking ORC ID, your publication, because before submitting itself, they will ask yeah. your ORC ID. So the moment when you give ORC ID, it immediately, it will create a database on your name and it will create H index because yeah. it's internally connected, Google Scholar, Scopus index and all, all internally connected. So the moment the ORC ID is being used, then immediately that ORC ID will contribute to your H index. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, sir. Please, uh, yes. as a teacher, as a researcher, everyone should have the ORC ID. Without the ORC ID, please don't publish. How much you publish, it will go waste. It will not contribute to your H index. Coming days, Coming down the line, 10 years down the line, the universities will lack just H index. No resume is required for a teacher. The higher the H index, the better the teacher. No more uh, subject theory and all. Hello. Hello, sir. I do have a question. Yes, yes, please. Hello. Please, sir. Proceed. Okay, uh, I appreciate your presentation. I'm from Bahadur University. Yes, sir, please. Hello. Please, it's audible, sir. Please speak. You hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Uh, I appreciate your presentation and also your title. Thank you. It's so interesting. I'm from Bahadur University, by the way. And uh, I, I do have one question. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. How much are, are, are we trust this uh, websites in, in order to submit and check, for instance, in articles? How much we trust them? Which which sites? The websites that you you have taught. That's why I see, sir. That's why I'm telling you. To see, if it is your own work not copied from anywhere if it has been working for since one and a half year two years if it is won't work don't put your paper any plagiarism software except turn it in by using repository non-repository if it is your own work if it is copied work i know most of the teachers what they do they they don't work hard so simply they copy it and they plagiarize it they rephrase it and they'll submit. For them, to, need not to bother. Again, they may rephrase it. But if it is your own work, 90% if your own contribution, don't believe any sites except, except turn it in. Okay, thank you. If I'm anyone sure. is there, 
with the minimum charges i can help you any ethiopian teacher or anyone is coming with the minimum charges i can help you to create a turn it in accounts from any source don't uh, believe other doctor. sources thank you okay doctor to yeah yes doctor krishna yes yes sir uh i was raising my hand but uh sorry yeah. sorry i did not see sir i'm seeing only uh this right, part thank you only. sorry uh, Okay. Anyway, so I'm Dr. Acham from uh, Debrecen University, sir. Uh, Social Science Faculty. Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to appreciate the organizers of this uh, this session. Thank you, sir. Uh, especially the the, um, the Department of uh, Accounting and uh, Finance, Finance and Accounting. I don't know. Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to appreciate the anyways the organizers of this uh, this session. Thank you. Um, um, I think plagiarism is a global issue. Yes. Uh, that the globe is uh, suffering from. Uh, so it is a common, a, a common problem to all of us. So the issue you have raised uh, is vitally important for the the academic, uh, you know, community. Uh, saying that, I would like to forward my appreciations to to you using the the following, you know, pointers. Uh, you know the, the software you have been using is fantastic. Uh, you 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 call it Turnitin. Uh, I was not aware of it. Anyways, uh, that, that this software seems to be uh, fantastic for for the academic community uh, because uh, it gives accurate information and a report about the originality of the the papers, yes. such work especially. So. Uh, if uh, if you have time yes sir please look for another modality to continue the training right especially the training should be continuing in a, an open session yes yes, uh, yes. for the, the 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 academic community of the Tower university and you may you may follow another modality for other universities uh, in ethiopia yes yes sir uh, of course, we use some of the plagiarism checking softwares, but uh, the one you have shown us is vitally uh, important for recording the, the overall information of the papers, the papers of our learners, especially for um, you know courses delivered in uh, in the second pro yes, second yes, degree sir. programs. Yes, yes. Uh, because I think. Uh, term papers are uh, repeatedly right copied from other workers yes 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 other works in this yes, program sir. so i think um, th this has to be given you know uh, full attention by the management of higher education institutions especially to to use you know this kind of softwares to uh, to their uh, you know academic community uh, but the technique which you call it unethical, right? You know, yeah, unethical. That, that's why yeah, what unethical. they are doing unethical techniques. What they are yeah. doing. That's why ethical and ethical. I showed you. Yeah, both. the technique. Yeah, the technique which you call it unethical uh, is not advisable for us because that's you, know, you know you could have a waiter telling us about it because <laughs> <laughs> we, see this is what uh, like, globally yeah. happening. That is what I want to yeah. tell you that. Uh, it is not intention that uh, because it's many many researchers globally they are cheating how they are cheating see it's tomorrow students may come by mm -hmm. using this technique and they may submit you may accept oh very good zero plagiarism plagiarism if you don't know mm -hmm. this technique mm -hmm. you may accept his proposal mm -hmm. yeah anyways ah, uh, teacher, uh, the, no. the, yeah yeah the ah, point is you, because, have, you have interest ah but teacher must know the unethical practice yeah. so that how students will do unethical practice we can come to know <laughs> I see, I see. Ah, right. Uh, anyways, the point is you have entertained uh, are vitally important for us. Uh, I would like to, I would like to appreciate the, the, you know, the organizers of this program, this session. It should continue in, in another modality, another modality. You need to, yes, yes, you, you need yes, to look for another modality uh, to keep abreast with this kind of issue. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Any other thing? I think many people raise their hands. If the, if you have any other doubts, please uh, unmute yourself and raise your questions if you have.
Ah, uh, Varlakshmi, madam, from where you are? Uh, from which university, ma'am? You are? Ah, okay, right. Yeah, Dr. Salamans. Yeah, yeah. Any other? Please, you can rise. Otherwise, uh, yeah. we'll wind up the session. And now. Uh, ah, uh, please. And. Hello, Dr. I think four participants raised the hands. Please, uh, if you have any questions, please raise your uh, question. I think uh, Dagma something. D A G M A. Yes, please. They have raised the hand. Click on the video and please raise your hand, uh, question, sir. You you can ask me in America also. Tinish, Tinish, I know in America also. <laughs> Some people, they may get fear uh, to ask in English. Chikirilla. Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, hosting this program for Deborah Sauer University and uh, Dr. Krishna for presenting this uh, Thank you. Uh, I want to forward some, some problems when uh, I will try to check the project with my manuscript. Okay. When I will check my manuscript from this plagiarism software. Which software you checked, sir? Result. Which software you are checking? Are you che did you check? Hello, hello. Uh, wait a minute, sir. Let me mute all the participants. Let me mute all the participants so that the question would be clear. Ah, yes, sir. Please tell me. Okay. Uh, when I will check my manuscript uh, for this project uh, and software, I will face some problems. Yeah. Uh, once upon a time, I will check my manuscript and the results come of title and subtitle of uh, my manuscript will be plagiarized more than 60%. For example, yeah. the ground of the study will be plagiarized around 60%, systems of problem will be plagiarized around 45%, blah, blah, and uh, some methodology part. Yes, so how can we mitigate this plagiarism, which is arise from subtitles? How can we rephrase, example, the background of the study? That's why I told you, sir, uh... If your report is getting uh, a 60% plagiarism like that, my suggestion is that just you follow ICQP. Identify your own rewriting, rephrase in your own words. Number one, I. P, citation. Majorly, plagiarism problem will come with a citation. Most of the people, whatever reference they put in the body, whatever citation they put it in the body, they don't mention in the reference. With that, it is very clear that your paper is not genuine. Because if they are writing their own, they start from introduction with the way their own words. And from where they are copying, immediately they put it in the body. Citation. Immediately the same, they put it in the reference. So that's why the most of the renewed journals, the first raised question is that, Adjust the citations. All the citations that you put it in the body must be there. That okay, is one. But how, how, how can he rephrase introduction, example? Rephrasing, that's why I'm telling you, no. You, if you can write in your own words, you write. Otherwise, you take uh, uh, paraphrasing uh, tools that I told you. Quibilt is there that you can, you, can, you can use that software and you can rephrase it. There is some basic skeleton. There is some basic skeleton for I'm one. Telling one you different uh, paraphrasing mm -hmm. softwares are sites that I told you just now. Articlerewriter.com. You go to that. Copy, paste, yeah, rewrite it. Okay, thank you for your yeah, right, right. That's why ICQP formula you follow, sir. Simple. Hello, sir. Reduce it. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes, sir, please, sir. Uh, thank you uh, for your presentation. Uh, uh, trying uh, this, uh, would you like to attach those uh, PPTs and uh, sound recordings uh, uh, by our Telegram page or email? 
Yes, yes. Yeah, I will attach, sir. Okay, thank you. I will attach. So, uh, no problem. Chikrilam, I will attach. Thank you, thank you. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can ask. Otherwise, uh, we'll wind up this this session. Next, uh, please. Uh, I will uh, uh, put the feedback form. Uh, please uh, give me the feedback. Uh, so that it would be useful to me to arrange next uh, uh, interesting topic or any loopholes, any mistakes are being done in this webinar so that I will come to know. So thank you so much for your uh, patient uh, uh, listening continuously two hours. I think uh, uh, registered participants were nearly 130, but the thing is that uh, attended is only 60. So uh, uh, almost 50% uh, attendance came. That's a very big success because uh, most of the times it happens. So thank you so much for your uh, uh, presence here. And it will, it will motivate me to take another uh, presentation like this, training like this. Thank you. And one more, uh, any other universities are requesting to this seminar, I'm ready even to give other university teachers also, they can collaborate with me, we together will give this type of presentations and awareness to these teachers. I'm ready. And I will provide you, if possible, I will provide you the plagiarism services also, if possible. You can contact me anytime. I'll be there for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, in India, I think your national anthem, I don't have otherwise uh, wind up uh, song I can put, but uh, Chikirillam, thank you so much. Namaste Kanalu for everyone. Thank you. Namaste Kanalu. Namaste Kanalu.